My name is Michael de Miranda, and today a lesson for the timbaleros amongst us. Uh, it's about uh, a combination of playing the bongo bell and the mambo bell. Bongo bell is for the bongo zero when the montuno is, ca is coming and the singer is starting his uh, pregones. Then the bongo bell uh, in a salsa uh, band has to play his pattern like this. And so on. In uh, the 70s, uh, Changuito made a combination playing this pattern for the bongos and a mambo bell pattern playing together. In his band where he was playing in the 70s, uh, Los Ban Ban, there was no bongo zero, so he made a combination. I'll put this away. And with one hand, he started playing. Uh, a bongo bell pattern and the other hand was playing a mambo bell. The mambo bell, most of the time, uh, there are different patterns, but the most common uh, pattern is like this. One, two, three, four. Like this. This is, of course, a two, three clave, so it's like this. And so on. Uh, Changuito, in, when he was playing with Los Ban Ban, he started making the combination of playing a bongo bell pattern. And the bongo bell pattern he started playing uh, on the mambo bell. So on this bell he was playing uh, a bongo bell like this. One, two, three, four. like this, and his left hand is playing a mambo pattern on the smaller bell, a cha-cha bell or this one, and it's like this. Like this. If you make this combination in a slow tempo, it sounds like this. And so on. If you want to uh, practice this, there are a few ways that you can uh, try to practice this. The first uh, uh, thing you can do is start playing the bongo bell pattern and build up the, uh, the mambo bell pattern. So if I play the bongo bell and I start first with the first stroke or the first two strokes of the mambo bell and each time I repeat it, there's one stroke coming along. So you start like this. Then the four strokes. Like this and building it up uh, more strokes till you finish the left hand, the, bong uh, the mambo bell pattern and then you have the combination. This is one way, but another way is just starting note for note. So let's say I start with the first three notes, they are all coming together. So it's like one, two, three, four. Then Four strokes are coming with the left hand, is the mambo bell pattern. And the last two strokes of the mambo be bell pattern are two strokes of the bongo bell together. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. After this stroke, there's a stroke on the bongo bell at the open side. One, two, three, four. Then one stroke with the left hand. One, two, three, four. 
then three strokes together, bongo bell and mambo bell. One, two, three, four. And then the last two strokes, two with uh, uh, the mambo bell and two on the bongo bell here. And then it starts all over again. And so this is another way you can practice it. And of course you start playing it in a slow tempo, sl slow tempo and then uh, speed up the tempo. Uh, <coughs> of course you can also play uh, another pattern for bongos, uh, for the mambo bell. Uh, for instance, if you uh, play this pattern where the first stroke is on the beat, but the next round, the first stroke disappears, is also a famous pattern. It's like this. One, two, three, four. If you make this combination, it sounds like this. This is also a pattern you can uh, use and you can play different kinds of uh, uh, mambo bell patterns, but also you can change the bongo bell pattern too. But the nice thing is you make the combination of two bell patterns and if you have a uh, someone, somebody uh, playing the congas, you don't actually need the bongo zero. Well, not. You can use it if you have this. Uh, if there are only uh, two percussionists in in your band, um, of course, I have uh, a link uh, in the description. You can find a link uh, to an, uh, a number or a number of, of uh, Los Wanban, and you can see uh, Changuito playing these patterns in a song called San Sandunguero, that, uh, that's a very famous song of uh, Los Wamban. And if you watch this uh, video, you can see, uh, I think around two minutes and 35 seconds, you, see, you will see a close up how Changuito is playing this, these patterns. He has uh, his setup a little bit different. The mambo bell is uh, towards himself and this uh, smaller bell is to his left side, so he's playing the, the bongo bell actually like this. But it's the same pattern, and I hope you can see and enjoy his way of playing, because he is uh, a master and he's very creative. He invented the, this way of playing. Okay, I hope you can use these uh, patterns, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.